What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare Podcast, episode 38. If you're watching and counting, we missed last week, and we'll tell you why. But first, my name is James Walter, and with me is the man who's moving, Mr. Chris Garcia. What's going on? He's moving. Not like he's moving, but his house is moving. Well, his house isn't moving. He's moving to a new apartment. Yes. So he's going to be busy all weekend. I will also be busy having fun. Where are you going? Okay, I'm going down to Orlando again. Again for the third yeah. time? Rocking. Wow. Going to see 38 Special and some other guy. The guy that sings some song. Anyway. <laughs> wow, I do not want that message. Okay, so anyways, if you were watching and you realized that we didn't film last week and there was no podcast, no YouTube video, we can explain. I worked until 9 p.m. last Wednesday and we record usually at 7.45 and uh, while I don't mind filming late, I didn't really know what time I was going to leave, honestly. And it's past my bedtime, about 9 o'clock. I could have been there till 10. And I, I was like, okay, I don't want to keep him waiting in limbo, so we'll just cancel. And then, of course, as fate would have it, that would be the week that we were both busy the whole rest of the week. So there was just no episode. But we're back, and it's okay. So, Chris, what's up? Nothing, man. Just, just getting two everything weeks. moving. I know. It's been crazy. Last time we talked, you were just a boy. Now you're moving out, getting your own apartment with like three other people. With one other person. Oh, just one other person. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, that's still terrible though. Yeah. Working hard. Yeah, you always work hard Mm -hmm. though since I've known you. Oh yeah, I tried. But then you were just working hard to get girls' phone numbers. So? And now you're working hard to make money. Yeah. So you can get girls' phone numbers. Yeah, it too. It's funny, as you get older, it kind of matters more how much money you have if you want a girl. Exactly. It's terrible. And that's really not true at all. That was mean of me to say. That's not true at all. Never, no girl I've ever dated has worried about how much money I did or did not have. Well, that's good. It you, is good. And you, and you landed perfectly. I didn't land perfectly. So that's good. Anyways, Chris, what do you say instead of talking about our personal lives, we talk about some stuff that's not so personal, but just as interesting. Well, these are personal. Oh, okay. But they're pretty open. Let's talk about some personal things then, Chris. What's going <laughs> Personally on? Personally open here. Uh, we got a woman who was badly burned as a baby. Uh, she, it was in 1977 in Albany, New York. Uh, this baby was burned pretty bad. And Carl Howard, he actually took the picture. Uh, and they called it the Madonna and Child, pretty much. Um, now, you know, this lady was bullied as a, a child because of her burns and everything like that. Um, so, you know, she's 38 now, uh, and she, you know, she's looked past this picture and, you know, she's talked to her even though she knew who she was and stuff like that. So she finally, uh, after 20 years has successfully met up with the nurse that nursed for her in the picture. How'd she find her? Um, let's see. She posted the photo on the Facebook page. Uh, and then tried to you know tried to find her tried to find her and within twenty or tw- excuse me twelve hours it gone viral with five thousand shares, uh, and finally as a human resource manager it was a local TV the next morning and it was blown away and uh, Angela Leary a former nurse at the Albany Medical Center sent uh, Scarpinet- Scarpinetti a message saying that the nurses in the photo was uh, Susan Berger, who had moved to Syracuse area a long time ago, and they finally met up. Uh, and she was only three months old in this picture when she was injured, uh, and it looks like she was lying on the couch with a steam vapor- vaporizer on the floor beside her when she rolled off onto the boiling machine. So uh, she was burned pretty badly, and now she is now um, reunited with Burger, pretty much. Cool. The person who nursed her and uh, took That's care awesome. of her. Mm-hmm. How long did she look for her? Nah, you said it was like 30 years? Yeah, I think it was like 20 years. Uh, nurse's name 20 years ago without success. Yeah, she tried to find her 20 years ago. Wow, um, that's a very long time to look for somebody. Yes, I think she would have been. She started when she was 18. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and she was only 21. Berger was only 21 in the, at the college, you know, just out of college in the recovery room. Wow. So she, both, she was fresh as well in the medical industry. That is really cool. That's awesome. What else you got? Uh, I got the other story. It's uh, surfers with dis- uh, physical disabilities hang ten at the net championship in San the Diego. Hang ten what? 
Oh, that's just what we say when you're from California and you surf. You don't surf. I a lot of people and ask. You're hardly me. from California anymore. I know. I'm one. I'm two thirds California now. You've been here a long time. Seven years, eight, eight years. And you're how old? Twenty-two. That's more than two. That's more than two thirds, Chris. Because mm. twenty-four would be two thirds. Would be yeah. If you were twenty-four and you lived here for eight years, then that'd be two thirds. Yes. So I guess I'm. A fraction that's harder to think of on the spot. Yeah, I can't think of it right now. Yeah. Okay. So okay. anyway, so surface hang ten with disabilities. Got it. But yeah, uh, I watch Rocket Power. I know what hang ten means. Do you now? Do you like surfing? I've never surfed. Would you? Sure. Would you want to? Yeah, definitely. It's something I wanted to learn. A lot of people when I first moved here asked me if I knew how to surf, and I said no. I, I didn't know how they to surf. Not everyone in California surfs. No, and we don't know celebrities. We we don't see celebrities every day. But um, they all hate guns. Just about yes, except for San Bernardino County, is where I'm from. No, they all do. We're the most republic. The most county. republic in a state that still votes Democrat exactly. across the board. That doesn't but, really. But mean we're like much. the only red, like in the whole state. It's actually kind of interesting if you look at it. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> this isn't a political podcast. We might have to edit that. Definitely out. not. Uh, but they posted pictures on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. This guy actually has a... Uh, Wait, so how'd they do this? Like, what kind of disabilities, Chris? I want um, to know more. Like, Coots... You've intrigued me now. Yeah, Coots, he lost a portion of his right leg uh, during a shark attack. Shark attack, so, shark attack. Um, Wait, so he, he was probably already a surfer then? Yes. Okay. Uh, he lost a portion of his right leg during a shark attack. He's competing against other surfers... Surfers from 18 different cuff, company, or excuse me, countries, not companies. 18 companies. Uh, so I think it's just kind of cool that they can all get out there. There's actually a video as well of, of Coots actually uh, Is it a surfing. GoPro video? I, it's got to be. I mean, it's on the back of his surfboard. One of those Sony action cameras. Probably really cool. It's probably a GoPro. That's cool. So what else? Like, is it all just people who, like, lost limbs from surfing? Or is it, like, other people? I think too, it's also like, other people as well. You've never um, surfed before. I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna surf. Yeah. They like got it on their surfboard and they're like doing handstands and stuff. They, they there's a lot of pictures. There there's a there's a lot of pictures on Instagram here. This one was yeah, posted. That's really cool. Uh, February 19, 2011. Eric uh, Dargent was attacked by a shark in his home of Reunion oh, that's Island. Not cool. No. Uh, result in mid thigh amputation of his leg. Having come close to death, Eric has made it to his goal to live life to the fullest. His determined has paid off as he will represent France at the 2015 ISA World Adaptive Surfing Championship presented by Hurley and CA California Foundation, Stan Sox, and City of San Diego. Uh, there's another picture. Uh, of team, It's from someone from Team USA. He's actually surfing with his therapy dog. Cool. I think that's kind of interesting as well. The dog's probably better surfing than all of them. Yeah, probably. Um, it's probably better surfing than most regular surfers, mm-hmm. for that matter. This guy, uh, 18 years old, he was in a car accident, so it's not all from surfing. It's He's a paraplegic, but he's out there as well. Uh, this guy lost a leg. Um, he's from Norway. Motorcycle accident. Uh, Basically, a lot of people were in accidents, and now yes, they're out there surfing. But they're out there, and they're, and they're doing what they, they love to do, and it shows people that regardless of what you are missing or what you're suffering with or... Anything of that nature, you can still get out and do it, and that makes that and that inspires me because I'm fully functional. Wow, you have all your limbs. Yeah, and I've they got all work. I've got all my limbs, and you know I'm not out there doing that, and it makes me want to go out there and do it because if they can do it, I can do it. Yes, anyone can do it. So, especially today, there's really no reason. Exactly. Except for there's water, you gotta get in the water, and Chris doesn't like water. I do like water. He's afraid of the water. I'm not afraid of water. That's, that's your disability. I'm not afraid of water. No? Oh. Not at all. Okay. Maybe I'm confusing you with a different Chris. Might be. Oh! I don't know any it was Chris. Chris. It was, yeah, you know, Chris Smith and the water bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. He is afraid of water now. He is afraid of water now. That explains why he only drinks Mountain Dew. That's something we got to talk about later. Chris Smith. Oh, man. Anyways. We need to get him on here. You know what else we need to do? What's that? I need to get my phone. Why do you need to get your phone? Because this iPhone is driving me crazy. <laughs> it's like, it's terrible. I try to fix the keyboard, and like I want to use the swipe keyboard, and like sometimes it's like, oh yeah, sometimes it uses swipe, 
Sometimes it still just pulls up Apple's default keyboard. So do you use or you download a swipe on the iPhone? Yeah. It's one of the worst. I, I had it for a week and disabled it. No, it's the best keyboard in the world. I use it on my iPod all the time. I couldn't get used to it. Dude, it's it's seriously like it is the best way to type hmm. on a mobile I, device. I like down. I like swipe on uh, your phone, but on mine I, use I swipe. don't like. That's exactly what you I'm using. You use swipe itself. Swipe. Yeah. Okay, I thought that was just a thing you can. No, I'm maybe. actually using the swipe keyboard. It's been about a year since I've been used using it. it since the Droid X, like okay. when the Android was like when um, it just came installed like on the phone. That's like what I thought. Option. Yeah. And then the Google keyboard now has swiping function also, and I'm just like, I w- I, which I was using for a while, but now I'm back to using swipe again. It's probably improved because I downloaded it a year ago and it was really glitchy. Yeah, they had some problems on iOS when it first came out. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe that was the problem. Uh, but no, it is hands down the best way to type, and it makes me so mad when I'm going to do something on the phone and the Apple keyboard comes up instead. Mm. It makes me so mad. I think one of the issues and, like, I had... And I've rearranged the order of the keyboards in the keyboard mm. settings, and like I, I've tried everything. I think I had an issue with when I was swiping, it would not give me the word I was wanting. Yeah, that's because like, you're swiping bad. With really s- like easy words. No, like I would type the and it would give me like... No, it's because you're fat thumbing it. It was probably fat thumbing it. Um, I've been using it for a very long time and I can say that it is very but I was using what it does. I was using it on an iPhone. Uh, I don't know. Let me see here. Uh, the So what do you use? Swift key now? Or you just I just use, use normal. Yeah, it's a normal thing. I would say I would like type the or I'll swipe the and it would come out like you or something. I was like, yeah, those letters are very close to each other, so it, you probably fat thumbed it. Yeah, probably did honestly. What it does is it's it really what happens with swipe is like the key that you start on and the key that you end on are like the two that it tries to use and then it just like sees everything you swipe through to try and guess. Gotcha. So if you started on Y and ended on E, it's like well there's no words, but you started on Y, so maybe you meant you. Like, it does, like, it's like that. Now, I don't think the O and the E are next to each other, though, so. Well, I'm a fast swiper. Oh, I, I very, swipe. I'm I can swipe fast. really fast on. But like I said, it's, it just bothers me because, like, I'll try to do that. Or, like, the other thing, like, if I text someone from my phone, like, I don't use iMessages because I'm using the Verizon Messenger app because it syncs all my messages mm. to the Verizon website and then my iPod and just across all my devices. So it's great. And, like, if I use it on the iPhone, that's fine. Like, it works. Like, I still get notifications in the message app because I can't switch the default app. But if someone, if I text somebody and then they text me back with an iPhone and they have iMessage on, it still sends it to me as an Mm. iMessage because it goes, oh, this came from an iPhone. Let me send it as an iMessage. Turn off the... No, I have iMessage off. Wow. Yeah, I have iMessage off and I text our buddy and he has an iPhone. And when he texts me back, I didn't get it, but it was on my iPod when I got home, when mm. my iPod connected now, to the Wi-Fi. Now you even have iMessage off on your iPod. No, but my iPod's not tied to my phone number. True. Hmm. This is hard. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I turn off iMessage on my iPod, it would work, but there's no reason for it to think that... Yeah. That Because they're not tied to each other at all. Yeah. It's terrible. I have a solution. If someone knows how to fix this, tell me, other than getting an Android phone, because that's the uh, best solution. That was my solution. <laughs> and I am. It's in the mail. It's it's not in the mail. It's being reassembled. It's, it's been two weeks. And it'll be sent back. There was some issues with the return process. I had to call them and tell them that they didn't do it right. And then the person told me they weren't making the phone anymore, and I was like, the phone just came out. It was a long process. Wow. Basically, they kind of screwed it up really bad. But it's on the way now. They're making it, and then they're going to send it to me, and it'll be great. So I'm not worried about it, but it's not going to be here until, like, a, it's still, like, a week and a half out because I had to remake a phone. Wow. Yeah, it was, I mean, and that's fine because, like, the phone did just come out. And it's on. It's probably, like, back ordered for a while. So, like, that's fine. That's my bad for dropping it. Yeah. But they just handled the return process pretty poorly. But that's okay. Chris, what do you say we take a break? It's fine. And then when we come back, Let's talk about Microsoft's event that they had this week. And let's talk about, um, did you hear they heard they found water on Mars? I did. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, we did know that. It's a week old now, but we still want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. So don't go away. We'll be right back. 